Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a chile verde lasagna. And if you guys like my green enchiladas, my chile verde enchiladas, you're going to love this lasagna. And also, we're getting a lot of good feedback on that uh, corn lasagna. Have you guys tried it? Delicious. Did you like it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've been getting a lot of messages about that. So I'll make sure to link that particular recipe in the description area and also at the end of the video if you guys want to give it a go. But for now, let's go ahead and get started on making a quick and easy lasagna. Before we begin with anything, I want you guys to go ahead and start your oven at 380 degrees. We need it nice and warm so that this lasagna is ready like that. The other thing is that I've already pre-roasted our chiles, okay? And I've cooked my lasagna. Those are super easy. And for my lasagna, I just follow whatever box I'm using today and usually always. Barilla. It always delivers a great flavor. Um, you, it's kind of difficult sometimes to get a flavor out of your pasta, but I think Barilla does an excellent job. So thank you, Barilla. And what else? Yeah. Did I need to say anything else? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. She's nodding her head. No, yes, I did. Let me tell you guys. When you're roasting your pepper and you're peeling um, the roasted part off, if you're coughing because it's spicy, it's likely that your chile is gonna be spicy. So uh, move that one to the side. If you don't like the spice, but if you like it, go ahead and add it and let's get ready to blend. So let's go ahead and add our chiles. We're gonna add our cilantro and the cilantro is to taste. If you don't like it, you don't need to have it. You know, we have a uh, for our family dinner today, we have a family member that has a tomatillo allergy. So that's why I'm not gonna be adding it to this recipe, but make sure to look in the description area so that you guys see my recommendation for you guys. And if you're not gonna be using tomatillo and you need some of that sour, delicious taste, go ahead and add about three tablespoons of sour cream to your blend and it's gonna be perfect. Where are we at? Oh, wow. One cup of water. I'm gonna go ahead and add my chopped onions. Gotta sneak those onions in there. Some folks don't like them, so if your family doesn't like them, sneak them, blend them, and you're gonna be okay. But if they like the onion crunch into them, you can just saute them. Where am I dropping onions everywhere? No, the, my, uh, my child's down there sniffing around. <laughs> boo, boo, you're sniffing. So ready for this? Un, dos, tres, cuatro. After a good minute with this blender, you get the consistency you want. You just want all the flavors blended, and if you have a little cilantro, we're gonna blend it slightly, but let me show you guys a little consistency I have going on. It's kind of like baby foodish. It's okay if it's a little thick. You want that. Ooh. Oh, that smells delicious. Now we're set with our sauce. Let's head on over to our burner so that we can get this sauce started. And then we're gonna build our delicious chile verde lasagna. Yeah? Hot pan, hot pan. We're back to a hot pan. It's on medium heat. You wanna drizzle a little bit of oil. I mean, you guys know how much oil your pan needs because I know that I had some pans a while back that I would put like maybe two pounds of oil and nothing, everything would get <laughs> stuck. It didn't work. So you guys know what that drizzle means. I'm gonna go ahead and start with my garlic just a little bit we just want to infuse that flavor in the oil get that nice aroma from the garlics okay we won't be here too long because you know how easily garlic burns for some reason I've been having really large garlics what about you I'm trying to think if garlic is plural or if it's singular. I think it's just garlic. Garlic? You know how you say Well, garlic mouse? because I buy a bag of garlics. I, so I, is it just garlic? I us... think it's just garlic. Really? All right. You learn something new I think even at an old age. Cloves. I think cloves is what's plural. Oh, because it's, I don't know. All right. I'm I've, been ha <laughs> I've been having large garlic. <laughs> garlic bulbs? 
<laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's what they're called. I'll see. And that's why I'm racking my brain over here. If you see me, I'm like, how do you say those? How do you say the, the thing where they're all together? Girl, you should have been a linguist. You're really good with that. I can I can use a little bit of your language. What? <laughs> no, I'm just obsessed with knowing different ways of saying things. That's a good thing. Uh-huh. All right, friends. Now that we have our garlic <laughs> in order, go ahead and add that sauce we blended, okay? Oh, careful. Talks back. <laughs> just like our teenagers. Yep, it does. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little water in my uh, blender so that that way I can keep all that delicious sauce. Where's my butter? Your butters? My butters. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add my butters, <laughs> add my butter, and I'm gonna add my heavy whipping cream. Can you make this with half and half? Yes. Can you make it with milk? Yes, the only difference is that it's gonna be a little bit runnier and I like this because it gives me a nice creamy texture. And ooh, it gets thick quick. All right, I had to lower my heat so it wouldn't pop on you, honey. Thank you so much. We know what a crybaby I am. I don't think you are. With this kind of stuff, I am a crybaby. You always take really good care of me, so the least <laughs> I can do is have this not pop on you. I run when I see things popping. <laughs> Our mom used to get so mad at me growing up because I would run. Like I'd put something in the oil and I would run. She's like, para donde va? <laughs> like the oil. I've never been scared of the oil. She's like, regresa. <laughs> I was more scared of my mother than the oil, girl. Not me, man. The oil scared me. <laughs> So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add our chicken bouillon. If you're not using chicken, use your favorite bouillon or adjust it with salt. It should work, yeah? Look at that nice little butter floating around. It makes me happy. It makes me happy too. I love butter. We may be a little tired, guys. Sorry, we stayed up watching Ozark. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I had started and I didn't finish it, so that's what we're doing since I already uh, finished uh, Schitt's Creek, which is one of my favorite shows. That's a fun show. Yeah, it is. I took a break from reading, so that's why Ozark it is. Ozark is going great. All right, friends, what we're going to do now, we're going to go ahead and put a lid on our sauce and we're going to let it cook for about eight to ten minutes just till it thickens up for us. And I'll come and show you in just a moment. Ra, ra, ra. Yes, I'm going to leave this I'm saving it for later. No, you're not. Is it, is it? There you go. Got Thank it you. Mm -hmm. I've never had anyone pick my teeth before. Thank you. Well, I have a habit of picking people's teeth. You're a mom. Dude. People that I love, I'll yeah, pick their teeth. Yeah, you do. <laughs> All right, friends. I just turned this burner off and you can see that it's just thickening. So wonderfully. Okay, so it'll take you about eight to 10 minutes. And now that we have this set, let's head on over to assemble our lasagna. Boom, boom, boom. Let me hear you say, ew. Oh, you don't want to dance, okay. Oh, you're in a really good mood today. You've been wearing your, uh, your hoops. Yes, I'm in better spirits. Nice. <laughs> We're ready to cook. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and grab a little bit of our chile verde. I should say salsa de chile verde, right? Mm -hmm. Make sure you spread it all on the bottom. You know one thing that I haven't made on the channel is a regular lasagna because I really, you know, I'm not traditional about it. Yeah, but it's better than the frozen ones, and that's kind of what I try to go for. Now we're going to layer in our lasagna sheets. They do have the no-cook lasagna sheets, mm -hmm. but I've tried those. I really like these because I really love the Garfield curl on the side. Is that what that's called? Well, I associate it with Garfield and friends, okay? Garfield, Garfield, the cat? Yeah. Oh, nice. I've already established that like cartoons. Pour like some Garfield. more sauce. And he cliff. <laughs> I was such a cartoon junkie when I was younger. I did more cartoon watching than reading, which I was the opposite. Okay. And 
I know you guys love the rotisserie chicken. It's super easy to get a hold of. Or tenderloins. They get cooked in like what? 10 minutes? I was going to say 2 seconds, but no. About 10 minutes. So that's what I used. I used some tenderloins and I chopped them up real fine. But if you guys have that rotisserie chicken that's like 5 bucks for a whole chicken, go ahead and use that. Nice shortcut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's what my meals have been all week, honey. Mm hmm If you don't like chicken, skip the chicken. This is good, especially now that school's back, you know? Yeah, this one's an easy one. Just put it in the freezer, and then when you're ready. Call ahead a teenager to, de to defrost it. Yeah. Well, good luck if they remember. Teenagers don't want to do anything. Teenagers watching, do something. Do something. Maybe it's just my teenagers and my suegra. Maybe I'm the one with the problem. <laughs> no, girl, you're my not. My ex <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add some more sauce to the top. I'm so happy I came over today. Yes, yes, yes. Well, when don't I ever come over, but... Well, you're over to help, but today you get and to I'm hang out with me a little bit. Though. <laughs> Thanks, sis. I appreciate your support. I love you. So let's layer another. I love you too, sis. Mm -hmm. Layer another one. Is that pepper on there on the sheet? No, girl, these are, uh, I roasted the chiles, and oh. when I roast the chiles, it ends up on my hood that I have to clean up, and... Nice. Yeah. Everything sticks to my stove area for some reason. Okay. Ooh. It smells savory and tangy at the same time right now, like the what's in the air and the chiles, but I could smell a little bit of that because I know what it tastes like. Uh-huh. I could smell the tanginess. It's so full of flavor. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I didn't add the tomatillos, obviously, because um, Papa's allergic. But also, the last ones we had were super tart. I had somebody in the comments tell me how tart they were. Mm -hmm. Like, it was really acidic. So, this is a good little recipe. You can always grow your own. That's the best way. Yeah. But not when you have a family member that comes and uses your yard to play soccer. I guess that would <laughs> defeat the purpose. <laughs> well, I love having them over. He's the best. So for the cheese friends, if you don't have a white cheese, which is normally what's used for this, mm -hmm. um, I would say go ahead and use it because I use a lot of that Costco uh, Mexican blend. That works for this. Make it comfortable for your home. Don't feel pressured. Sometimes you just got to get a recipe out, feed your family, and let me tell you, the cheese, they're not going to cry about it. I think it's more of the adults that cry about it. Yep. You can still put love into it, right? Is that yeah. what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some more delicious sauce. I know when you're cooking it, you're probably like, you don't need that much sauce. Well, if you're watching your calories, obviously you don't need that much. But nobody here is watching their <laughs> I'm not. I told you guys I'm probably going to be gaining that weight I lost back. Or not. My body is really content with what I'm doing. That cucumber water is what we're drinking right now. Without fail. Pretty much every single day. I switch it up a little bit. But I have a combo that has a little bit of sugar. But it's so good. If you like antojitos mexicanos, let me know in the comments and I'll make the recipe. Actually, I am going to make the recipe for you guys. It's so good. Yeah. All right. Ready? <laughs> Saucy. I like making this one because my mom, uh, she gets really bad heartburn when I use like red sauce. Like the pasta sauce. Mm -hmm. She gets really bad heartburn, so I know she'll enjoy this one. It makes me happy. You're such a good daughter. I try to be. You are. Grandma was so sweet. She helped me uh, try and reorganize my kitchen and my living space for the holidays. Mm -hmm. But good Lord, girl. She's such a cutie. She is. She tries. She tries so hard. I can't find certain things, so I'm a little bit everywhere. Mm -hmm. That's okay. I appreciate her help. Shout out to you, Mom. I'll let her know. Because she's not watching this. <laughs> <laughs> One day. All right. One more layer. Oh, I didn't put sauce in that little spot. My bad. 
You guys always forget, like when I do the enchiladas, some of them get the sauce inside, some of them don't. You're like, you forgot the sauce. I'm like, I know, I was talking to you. <laughs> we have a friend in the comments that always reminds us to add sauce. Yes, 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 thank you. Or my ingredients, my friends that help me, you forgot to add this or that. I'm like, thanks. You guys know how much my kids uh, work me. <laughs> they sure do. Girl, they're not happy with me right now. Why? Because of your well, hair color? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was like, I get ready, they're like, oh, your lips. So whenever I wear bright lips, they're happy, and I thought maybe I could counterbalance. My kids are not happy, and I was like telling my sister, I think I know why they're like being so mischievous. Mm -hmm. Is that how you pronounce the word? Mischievous, yeah. I have such a horrible pronunciation for my English words. I'm sorry, guys, but they have been hassling me. I'm going, I was going through my, like, my stuff that I was going through, and I'm like, you know what, Cloud? It's because I don't have my bright, colorful, wrestler hair. So I miss your hair, too. Do you? I like you guys miss one. my hair? I like this one, too, but I, one, I like bright hair. This one's fun. I just need a little bit of a break for my hair. Okay? Yes. So now let's go ahead and add the remainder of our sauce. You want to necesitar una spatula, pero en... Pour some sauce on me. Yeah, te me estás calentando, eh? Yes, I'm so hungry. That's a good thing. I like making you hungry. Mm -hmm. That means you enjoy. Actually, you're the human being that you and Bebe enjoy all my food. And then Punky's been doing so well with enjoying foods. He has. Yeah, he's like, hey, mama, what are you making today? When he's being a brown noser. Mm -hmm. I love it. All right. Let's have the remainder of our cheese. We all love that bubbly, bubbly on the top. You know when I say bubbly, bubbly, what it reminds me of? What? Champagne? No, yes, girl. Yes, girl. It reminds me of when uh, Punky uh, was doing some tutoring stuff. Do you remember what happened? <laughs> I should tell you guys a story right now. When I put this in the oven, I'm gonna tell you guys, okay? So if you guys wanna hear it, make sure to pay attention. I'm out of panko crumbs, but I thought that this would be great because it's corn, you know. So I'm going to be using uh, corn flakes crumbs. If you have a corn flakes, just throw it in the blender, same thing. And I mixed it with a little bit of cotija. Ooh, good call. If you don't have cotija, go ahead and use Parmesan. This will one. give it a good color too. Yeah. That means I have to go back to the Korean market. That's where I usually get it. Um, unless we have a good link on Amazon, do we? Mm-hmm then that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I don't gotta go anywhere. That's a, st that's a, that's a thing. Like when you have everything in your house, you don't need the to go anywhere. Yep. Yeah. Although I'm trying to get you on that kick Hi. where you order your food online and go pick it up. Ooh, like what, like what? Like, like the space? Instacart type stuff, you know? Oh, at the grocery store? Mm-hmm. Girl. I'll convince you. Don't you worry. I don't know. I maybe go in there and like take notes and spy on the kids. <laughs> the teenagers that are putting the groceries and that, they know how to pick their groceries. They're pretty decent. I'm pretty sure that they put them through a whole training. Yeah. All right, friends. Now that this is ready, it's going to go ahead and go into the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. As soon as this is bubbling, it's cooked because everything's already pre-cooked here. We just need it all to uh, get warmed up and marry each other and just want to stick together. Kind of like us. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the oven and then I'll come back and share that story with you. <clears throat> While our lasagna is baking, let me tell you guys this story about my little punky. He's not so little anymore, but I have had him in tutoring for years, right? <laughs> so in this particular day, my sister decided to help me out and take him to his tutoring session because, you know, I had had it. <laughs> it was rough for you. It was time. rough for me during that time. It was so difficult. It was like bouncing here, there, therapies, and all these things. So she takes him to tutoring, and turns out that with the tutor, he's telling, is telling, <laughs> telling her Miss So and So. Oh, like she's teaching her. What letter was she teaching? She said um, she was teaching him the letter P, and he had to draw something that started with the letter P. And so she said maybe like a little piggy by you. And so he started to draw the pig. And then he put a squiggly squiggly instead of the male private part. He said the other P part, the P word that can't say on here, but you guys can think about a squiggly squiggly P, you know? So my sister turns and she's like, what did you say, Club? I said, um, Miss, whatever her name was, I don't want to say it, right? Yeah. Because of confidentiality. But I said... Mrs. K, um, I assure you, I know nothing about where he saw a squiggly, squiggly penis. I think, I said, maybe you should bring this up with my sister. I said, but I'll, I'll relay the message. And I was 
bright red I was dying so I said oh I need to use the restroom maybe excuse for a quick second girl I laughed so hard in the bathroom he really said like a squiggly and we're thinking oh he's gonna say squiggly tail but no so I came home and I was like, hey, Steph, is there something that you need to tell me? Like, is it, your husband have any kind of issues? He doesn't, or? guys, <laughs> at all. I just want to clarify that out there. But when my sister, I was so embarrassed. I'm like, why did he say that? And I asked him, he's like, yeah, mom, like a squiggly squiggle. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, what in the world? I think he might have been like three and a half, right? He was three and a half. He was like three and a half or four, somewhere in between there. And you guys, I was so embarrassed. The good thing is that... <laughs> His tutor was super chill, super fun, really nice lady, and um, yeah, that's he the used story. to push her buttons, man. I remember when he didn't want to do math, and he would say, "Okay, Mister," and then her name, Mister K. He would <laughs> say that, and I would just be so embarrassed because here I am, like going out of my my day, and she's just getting off of work enough to meet us to tutor my my children. So <laughs> it's I don't know. Some of you guys remember me talking me talking about taking them to tutoring and all that. So, but she was amazing. She was so patient, and she would even give us greeting cards, and she would make joke out of like the squiggly pig. Yeah, <laughs> for holidays and things like that, it became the joke. But the squiggly squiggly pee. <laughs> you know, I, I think I came to the conclusion that he thought maybe that was the pig's private area, the tail, because he was so little. Maybe he thought, let's, "Well, I have one, so hope. maybe this is the pig's." <laughs> Let's hope but that's that story now. Um, I think let's go check on that lasagna. Sounds good. Yeah Chicka 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 lasagna verde You ready I'm gonna be scooping it I'm out ready now. <laughs> I'm gonna be scooping it out. We are ready. So let me go ahead and be my own Steffi scissor hands. Shout out to all my ladies named Stephanie. I'm seeing a lot of you on the channel. It's a popular name. Especially the ones that like to be called Steffi because someone doesn't let me call them Steffi. Because it reminds me of a dog that I adopted, girl. Okay? Okay, okay, okay. Why are you bringing these things up? I'm doing good too. <laughs> Steph was going to let this lasagna sit, but I told her that she had to taste it for us. Yes, I have to taste it for you guys. You ready? Ooh. Yeah. Que rico. Scoop this one out for you, honey. Well, obviously it's going to be a little messy porque está okay calentito. With that. Thank you. That's going to be for you. I wanted to take care of you today and feed you. I wish you would stop feeding me. <laughs> Not happening. It's, it's <laughs> fall season. Everybody's eating. That's how I was trying to get you guys to lose a few pounds so that we don't feel guilty when it's time so to eat. So she can plump you up. Apparently my size looks bigger, but... Vamos a ver, deja todo tenedor, mija. Tenedor means fork. I'm about to go buy another set of forks. They're missing in action? Yeah, they're always missing. What you doing? I'm um, putting some of the addiction in here. That chili oil is everything. Yes, friends. Cloud and I are doing our homework so that we can get this to a store near you. Vamos a ver, vamos a probar esto. For those of you that don't like to watch me eat, I appreciate you coming in here and watching this recipe. And on that one, I'll see you on the next one. Bye! Adios! You like that? I did that with one hand. <laughs> Yeah, because you're ready to eat. Yes, it's hot, but you're not playing around. I couldn't help but notice that deep fryer over there. Um, yeah, I'm tired of cleaning my range <laughs> and all the oil splatter everywhere. You guys have seen it on the videos, but I was get thinking it, more for my selfish needs, like some hot chicken. With my oil? Yes. Uh-huh. Mmm. Make the oil, guys. Wow. Girl, I've never had it like this. Let's take another bite. Ooh. That's a really good balance. I haven't had our green lasagna with that chili oil before. It's the best. Mm. Heaven. I'm in heaven. All right, if you guys like this one, make sure to check out that Mexican corn lasagna we did because it is to die for. Mm. 
Mika, put the camera down. You gotta, you gotta taste yours. All right, bye guys. Bye.